I get my own cabin? Look at that. <gasps> hey guys, I'm doing a solo trip to Disneyland today. Disney World, correction. Um, I'm starting my journey out at Hollywood Studios because I was gonna try to get on the new Galaxy's Edge Rise of the Resistance ride. Um, they are sold out of 40 times, um, so I am here doing things I've never done before. So I'm doing the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show. Um, and then while online for this show, I got a fast pass to Rock and Roller Coaster. Yes, I've done that, but like who wouldn't want to do it again? Um, and then I'm going to do that and then head to Smuggler's Run, see if I can get on that ride fast. I want to be pilot. I've done every other position except for the pilot. So I want to pilot. Um, hopefully I can pilot. And then we'll head, <laughs> little kids are so cute. And then we'll head to another park. I'll keep you guys posted. Just finished Rock and Roller Coaster. This nice family let me ride with them because I was alone. Um, and now I think I'm gonna uh, skip Smoke Goes Run because the ride is like 80 minutes. And then I'm gonna head to Epcot with the Skyliner. Never done it. Just so really quickly talking about Voyage of the uh, Little Mermaid. So basically, it opens with a Under the Sea puppet show, which is kind of cool. And then they do Party Your World. Uh, Ariel sings it. And then. Um, Ursula comes out and does uh, Poor Unfortunate Soul, and then she transforms into a to a mermaid, to a human, and pr the entire time Prince Eric is literally just laying on a rock, sleeping, and he wakes up and he goes, Ariel, it is you, and then they hug, and then that's the end of the show. So uh, Prince Eric is the easiest part of the entire show, he literally just lays, says two lines, and that's it. That's all he does. Oh, to be, to be a boy in theater. I'm heading over to Epcot using the Skyliner for the first time. Kind of excited. I'm so excited for a ride. Um, for like a transportation service. So you take the Hollywood Studios Skyliner to the transfer station and then you transfer. It's like really cool but like also complicated. Oh, I was be our guest last time. Let's see. Just one. I get my own cabin? Look at that. It would be my own cabin, but I don't have a theme. It's kind of sad. I'll just get to stare at this people over here. I don't know who they are. Hollywood Studios to a transfer station and then from the transfer station to the Riviera Resort and from the Riviera Resort to Epcot. We are now sailing over Disney. Okay, so it turns out I'm a little wrong. Oh, we have an announcement. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. Whoa! Okay, so I was wrong. So you take the you take the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios to the transfer station, the transfer station to the Riviera Resort, and then the Riviera Resort Ciao, to Epcot. Bonjour and bienvenue. Hello and welcome to Disney's Riviera I just Resort. I want to explore the resorts. They're so Epcot, cute. Please remain on board. Oh, please remain. I'm remaining on board. Okay. I'll keep you guys posted. This is so funny. This is so cool. I made it to Epcot, got my passport. I'm um, not really sure what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm really just using Epcot as a transfer to get to Magic Kingdom because I'm coming back to Epcot with my friend later because she's meeting me. Um, yeah, don't really sure what I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I guess we'll just walk the countries and see. is very aesthetically pleasing but I just met Winnie the Pooh and now I'm gonna go see Epcot Forever um, their new renovation little thing so I can see what they're planning I'm kind of excited this wall is very aesthetically pleasing hold on I'm gonna take a picture As the day fades, a dusk I 
am now going to take the monorail to Magic Kingdom so I can be there for the parade. I'm excited. It's the, I don't know what they call it. Guys, I have a Disney pass, but I'm not very Disney. Like, I love going and I love doing everything, but I don't know the names of this shit. They would, I would be a terrible, terrible employee, but. Okay, I made it to Magic Kingdom. I just witnessed an engage, a proposal. That's kind of cool. I got here just in time for the parade. I'll show you guys video. dinosaur which is my favorite ride like my favorite ride I, um but on my way out I'm, I'm going through Tomorrowland so I'm gonna see if I can meet Stitch see if his wait time is super high if it's not I'm gonna go and wait if it is a little high I'll be back I just met Stitch and he's super cute obviously and I think I'm lost I don't know how to get out I genuinely think I'm lost in Disney. There's literally no one in this hallway. Oh no, we found it. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. I found the store. That was just a lot of walking for a character meet and greet. Exit. Okay. Now I'm heading to Animal Kingdom. I've never so used cool. Disney's bus system, so I'm figuring this out. But I'm currently leaving Magic Kingdom and heading to Animal Kingdom. I have to take a bus. So let me look. Oh, bus number six. I need to take, oh, gate six. I need to take gate six to Animal Kingdom. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get lost. I feel like this can't go smoothly. I've never taken the bus system. Let's find out. After the longest and most tedious bus ride, I finally made it. So my first stop is to get food. So I haven't eaten since 8 a.m. this morning when I took my final. So I'm gonna get um, pulled pork mac and cheese. Uh, my friend Jeremy told me about it. Apparently it's really good. 
and they get that. Or I haven't decided if I'm getting pulled pork mac and cheese or pulled pork french fries. I don't know, but I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna see if I can catch the four o'clock um, Nemo show. And then if I can't catch that, I have a fast pass to use, so. So I finished and I made it to the show. So, both, both, best of both worlds, and then I'll do dinosaur after. So I realized the show isn't until 4.30, and it's four o'clock. So I wanted to kill time and do something. I wish I would have known that because I wouldn't have eaten my food so fast. I wouldn't have eaten my food so fast if I would have known. Um, also, slightly disappointing. I finished it because I was just hungry. I haven't eaten in all day. In days, I haven't eaten in days. I haven't eaten all day. So, I was trying to see if I could go on Expedition Everest, but no. So now I'm gonna just go do uh, something in Dinoland and come back, because I've got time. It's chillin' like a villain, but Christmas fine. Let me know if you guys hear this. We'll be chillin', chillin'. Chillin' like a snowman. Chillin' like a snowman. Oh my god, Disney, stop. So I couldn't find a ride to go on, so instead I found Scrooge. Like, in Animal Kingdom in Dinoland, I found Scrooge. So I took a picture with Scrooge, very Christmassy. And his character assistant was super cute, and I didn't have enough time with him, so like, what do you do in those instances? I'm so confused. Like, you think a guy is cute, but like, you don't have enough time to be like, hey, can I get your number? So like, you just feel awkward, because you're just like, okay, bye. And then you'll never see each other again. Going on dinosaur, I just finished finding Nemo. on Dinosaur. Honestly, it's my favorite ride of the entire park. It might be my favorite ride in all of Disney World. Um, it's just so different than every other ride they have there. Um, so now I am walking out. Um, my car is parked at Hollywood Studios, so I might go get my car and bring it to Epcot because I'm meeting my friend at Epcot and that way I don't have to transfer later on. I think I might do that. Haven't decided yet. I'm leaning towards yes because I still have to focus on time and it seems like the easiest decision, but we'll see. I may have lied. Um, I'm doing the show It's Tough to Be a Bug because I've never done it and none of my friends ever want to do it. And I'm meeting a friend later. She hasn't got back to me. So it is tough to be a bug. So let's see how tough it is to be said bug. dodging people. I forgot that Whoopi Goldberg's doing the candlelight vigil tonight. So everyone and their mother is here. Oh, but I should be meeting at my friend with at 7.30, so in like a half hour. And after basically 12 hours in a theme park, I am exhausted. I'm waiting to get my magnet. And my friend is meeting me here, and then we're gonna go home. Um, I met Anna and Elsa, and their outfits are so cute. Um, and they're talking about the movie, the second movie. So that's cool that like they bring it up. So I'm actually taking the friendship boat to Hollywood Studios because you know I'm changing up a little bit. Um, <laughs> you'd be great to post it. I've never done this before. Okay, 
My phone is literally gonna die. I'm at 1%. I just got off the boat. I'm in Hollywood Studios now. Well, the outside of Hollywood Studios. And I'm gonna go find my car. Take the tram to my car and drive home, get me something to eat because I haven't eaten since those french fries and they hurt my stomach. I didn't like them. Um, but yeah, I'll sign out when I get home. Bye. So I just got home. Um, I stopped to get food. I got Chick-fil-A and Popeyes because I haven't eaten really. But also I really wanted to see which one's better because I feel like when you eat the Popeye sandwich alone, you forget what the Chick-fil-A sandwich tastes like and then like vice versa. So I was like, mm, I'm going to eat them both at the same time. Obviously not all of it, but like and figure out which one I like better. So that's my night's journey. I'm gonna watch some Netflix and just hang out in bed and probably fall asleep because I've been up since eight. Um, and thank you guys for following me along this journey. I hope it was interesting to you. Um, it was interesting to me, very tiring. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you wanna see anything else, uh, comment down below and I'll see if I can do it. Okay, bye.